look at that moth, guys. Big, heavy set Saturnid moth. everybody welcome back to jack's world of wildlife now today i've set up my illustrious light trap and i'm on the hunt for some big moths i'm targeting saturnidae the larger silk moths it's really critical that i try and find them right at this time of year because they don't live for very long so I'm hoping that in this nice habitat i'm able to entice one of these really cool or even a bunch of these really awesome moths to my light trap so wish us luck and hopefully we can catch some really cool moths to show you guys. Okay, look who we finally had show up to the light trap, guys. Actius Luna, the Luna moth. Oh, no, no, don't lead yourself up anymore. Oh, wow. Gotta get a good hold on her there. Oh, let's move out of the toxicity of all this bugs. Look at this beautiful, little moth. This is Actius Luna. Let me show off these wings for you guys. Beautiful green coloration on these immaculate wings. Now this looks to be an older individual. You can tell there's some tearing on the wings, probably just from aging. It doesn't look like a bat has attacked it because these little tails are present. These are actually specifically designed to keep bats away from the important little, I don't want to take off any of her. I want to, you want to hold moths and butterflies in between your index finger and your middle finger uh, so as to not rub off all those important scales. But they don't want this section of this, of this beautiful moth to be exposed to predation from bats. Look at these antennae. Now males will use these real weird looking antenna to smell around for female pheromones. She sends out this big pheromone trail and these males know it's time to mate. And that's really important if you're a Saturnid moth because you only live uh, for such a short amount of time. Your only job is to mate. Their, their mouths, their digestive tracts are, are atrophied if not completely gone, missing from the anatomy of this animal um, just to really emphasize, hey, all you guys are really here to do is mate. Look at that beautiful, beautiful moth. Uh, we're in some great East Texas wood. Oh, I thought I saw another one. Great East Texas wood right now. So we've got a lot of potential of finding even more of these really beautiful little moths. Let me see if I can. Whoa. Whoa. Oh, beautiful little lunar moth. Oh, wow. A little tattered, a little beaten up, but not too worse for wear. Look at that moth, guys. Big, heavy set Saturnid moth. Beautiful silk moth. Come here. Just calm down. It's okay. It's okay. I wonder if she'll calm down closer to the light. Wow. She's a great flyer, but a little clumsy. Not quite as, as skilled as some of the other moths, say like Sphingid moths. These silk moths just kind of flop around. They don't need to be very accurate. They don't need to be very stable in flight because they're just doing one thing, mating. Okay, I'm going to have to restrain you again. Prefer not to do that. But look at that big old fat body, funny little moth face. Look at that. Jiggling. What an interesting little moth. Hi, you're cute. Wow. These are such interesting little moths. It's always a treat to see these big Saturnids because they're just so huge. I don't usually get moths this size back where I live, so it's always fun to see these big juicy moths flying around and doing well. Look at that. Oh, what a cool moth. Oh, <laughs> nice. Look at that. Flying around, flopping around, all over the place, really. 
She's getting her bearings. I can feel the weight of this moth kind of pulling down on my hat. Where'd you go? There you are. Whoop. Flopping around in the grass again. What a cool little creature. Look at those beautiful spots on the wings. Those beautiful little... Okay, he's just gonna get all nasty and tatted up, aren't you? Come here. Okay. I just would love for you to display those wings. I hate to have to just hold you. But wow, take a look at that. Is that not a beautiful little moth? So, so cool. Let's see if anything else shows up. Hopefully, we can see either more of these, or maybe even some different types of insects. Well, really cool. She's doing her best, kind of. How big are the males? Now, the males are a little bit smaller, usually. She's not an exceptionally big female either. Oh, oh, nope, that's a pipe. <laughs> All the bugs in the background. <laughs> you going? Yeah. All right, well, we had a great time filming this beautiful, well, I should say, uh, she, she, she's in her prime. Right, she's a bit aged, a bit beat up, but a really cool moth nonetheless. We had a great time filming with this cool little creature. We're very grateful that she showed up. Thank you very much. And uh, we're gonna shut down the light trap and uh, thanks for watching, I guess. Like, comment, share, subscribe, buy the new merch. It's pretty cool. Um, turn on post notifications so you don't miss anything else. Man, I'm covered in bugs. And I hope you guys enjoyed this and learned some more about Luna Moths. Let's see if she'll perch on my nose. Oh. What an interesting little moth. Cool stuff. Thank you for watching. Tune in next time.